COVID-19 has caused panic and confusion internationally. From the massive lockdown in Wuhan to the surge of cases in Italy, the subsequent lockdowns of India and New Zealand, and then the mammoth task of controlling the virus globally. With things changing so quickly, information alongside misinformation is spreading at an increasing rate. It is no surprise that people are struggling to navigate these uncertain times. Internationally, the pandemic has exploded. Meanwhile, successes have been observed in certain countries. For example, New Zealand reported successfully beating the virus. I did a little dance. <laughs> Governments, health officials and other organisations have been issuing directives to guide people through the crisis of our generation. Yet, not all people comply with these recommendations. So how did New Zealand pull this off? How did countries that beat the virus successfully encourage the adoption of these behaviours? Wearing a face mask is considered effective in minimising the transmission of the virus especially because in some cases, carriers can spread the virus even if they do not show any symptoms. Thus, it is important to understand what makes individuals comply or refuse to wear a face mask to inform future communication strategies to encourage protection behaviours. While there may be many factors that we consider in making health decisions, the one thing that's important in pandemic is trust. This is Assistant Professor Kim Hai Kyung together with Prof. Edson Tanjok Jr. from the Wee Kim Wee School of Communication and Information, they investigated how trust can be helpful in the midst of a crisis situation. It is the implicit trust we have in experts and governing bodies that allow us to heed their advice and turn to them for direction. With higher trust, people are more likely to hear what these officials have to say it's especially important when there's a lot of uncertainty as to what actions are needed to prevent a disease or infection. In the early stages of COVID-19, wearing a face mask was recommended only when people felt sick based on the WHO's guidelines. If you do not have these symptoms, you do not have to wear masks. Yet, with more evidence on asymptomatic transmission, it was revised to be worn regardless of sickness. In light of evolving evidence, WHO advises that governments should encourage the general public to wear masks where there is widespread transmission. Prof Kim and Prof Edson wanted to examine how trust in the Singaporean government influenced Singaporeans' compliance over time with the changes in advisories on mask wearing. They conducted a three-wave panel survey monitoring people's perceptions and behaviours on mask wearing. The first reading was taken in February 2020 when the virus was just starting to ramp up the second was taken in March, and the third in April. We definitely found that trust had a significant role to play in that Singaporeans really listened to the government when they had high trust. How do we know that? Well, uh, we found that government trust influences what the public considers to be a normative behaviour to perform. What's interesting is that government trust makes people believe that mask wearing without sickness is not useful for prevention in the early stages of pandemic. But this changed after the government updated its stance on mask wearing. It seems that trust in the government influences the perceptions on what the government specifically advised. So maintaining a high level of trust in government can help form supportive beliefs on the recommended prevention behaviours during a novel disease pandemic. But Prof, we have to ask, do you think people listened to the government because they trusted them or because they were afraid of the fines and repercussions that will follow if they don't? <laughs> I think we cannot deny that people's fear contributes to their compliance, but people still have the freedom to make their own decisions. Citizens still actively decide whether to follow health advisories. So what we found from our research was that those who initially did not wear masks without symptoms were more likely to perform the behavior at a later time point. These might signal how the public changed their mask wearing behavior to align with the revised advisory. Prof Kim's research has illuminated that a change in health advisory can easily lead to confusion and non-compliance. But it seems this can be mitigated with strong trust in the government. Of course, our findings are specific to Singapore's cultural and geopolitical context. 
but it shows the importance of building public trust in the government in managing a health crisis. Trust is not just useful in only a pandemic, but in any specific crisis. Building trust in times of normalcy and keeping that is what will allow people to stay united through these difficult times.